Ryan, thank you for the $2 donation on Patreon. You are what keeps the dream alive. All right, let's get into the video. Do you ever just look around and wonder if there's something more? That's what I like to do when I decide to do my analysis videos. Even more so when I found out that the developers like to hide things. I mean, that's how we found Carcosa, which certainly has been a wild goose chase. But today's video isn't about Carcosa. What we are going to be talking about today is a video that was released December 10th, 2019 on Void Interactive's official YouTube channel. The video itself is called Busted, and it's around a minute long, clocking in at about 58 seconds, with your standard SWAT team breaching and clearing and cleaning up the mess and getting the job done. But is there something more? Let's break this down. At the beginning of the clip, we see two suspects and the leg of what appears to be a dead civilian, judging by the blood and the lifelessness of the person. The one sitting on the left appears to be an African-American male wearing what I'm assuming is an orange raincoat, while the other is crouched down over what appears to be a bag with a bunch of money strewn about. The guy himself appears to be wearing a green jacket with some type of ski mask on. This guy's covered from his head to his toe, so I can't really tell what his ethnicity is, but I do believe it's revealed at the end, which also might play into a theory that I have, so I'll wait to talk about that later. In the scene, he appears to be tossing what looks like a folder, which I have a theory about this, but uh, we'll get to that later on. The area itself, I believe, is the gas station. I think it's safe to assume that, seeing as how we almost always see the guy with the raincoat in the gas station every time we look at marketing material. This is most likely the back station of gas station, although what part, I'm not entirely sure. It could be like a break room of some kind, just judging by the chairs and the, uh, the tables. And later on, we'll see a vending machine. Yeah, it's right there. Could also be a storage room. But yeah, the only uh, notable thing that I saw here is uh, what's up with the random head that's plastered on the whiteboard that's back there? It looks like somebody like cut out like a piece of paper of something and just like slapped it on the wall right there for some reason. Like, what's the story behind that? That's interesting. But that's really all I got to say about that mini scene right there. Let's push on to the next scene here. The next scene is a close-up on the right side of the suspect that seemed to be putting money into a duffel bag. One thing of note here is that there's a pistol that's laying here on the ground that was not shown in the previous scene that we had seen before. I think that might be because the dead civilian's leg is actually covering up where the pistol is supposed to be, but I'm not entirely sure. The pistol might have been added in as an afterthought. There might be an error on the devs part, but I can't really say for sure on this one. There is another error that we'll get to later on, but uh, yeah. The pistol itself appears to be a glove. 19. If you gun nuts want to correct me, go for it. Let me know down below. In the background, it looks like the guy's kind of like shuffling around for something. It doesn't seem like he's actually trying to pick up the money that's pushed all around the floor. We also see that there are two vending machines in the background. And that's really all there is to this scene. Let's move on. The next scene is a top-down shot of two SWAT officers stacking up and pushing into a hallway. The thing that I have to wonder about this scene is, are we going to be able to stack up like this? Or is it just a promo? I had heard somewhere that they were going to implement a system just like this, but I'm not entirely sure if it was just a rumor or if that was actually going to be a thing. If somebody wants to tell me down in the comments below, then let me know. I'll try to get in contact with the devs to see if that's true or not. But yeah, that's pretty much all this scene is. Let's push on. The next scene is a close-up of the officer that was down in front. And if I'm not mistaken, then this character's code name should be Judge, the main protagonist of Ready or Not in the single player. I have a video that goes more in depth with this character and other characters that are publicly available. And if you would like to watch that video, click on the eye icon that's at the top right of the video right now. But aside from that, you can just barely see that he's issuing a command with his hand right there, paying homage to the fact that you can actually do that while you're in the game. Whether it be to AI or players, it can be very helpful. Although I'm not sure if they actually implemented the uh, hand movements whenever you give a command. Like as far as I know, I think it's just you yelling out commands. But I believe they did talk about this on uh, Reddit at some point, that they were going to look into that. Actually, I think I might have asked that question a while back. But I mean, it would be nice for a lot of people that are trying to do like stealth runs to give like hand commands instead of you know you actually shouting something out and i think that void's kind of looking into that because they just showed this off pretty much then it shows off the legs of swat officers walking down the hallway and then the scene switches over to the suspects that we had already seen before specifically the one that was sitting on the left just tapping his shoes to non-existent music, which is interesting, but I just want to point out that he's wearing my favorite brand of shoes, Converse, ya yeah boy! Then it switches back to the SWAT officer that Judge was issuing a command to, his wingman, Alabama. He basically told them to go and stack up and breach the door. Side note, I cannot tell you how much I love this shot, where the camera is basically taped to the gun and looking at the user. I think the last time that I had seen a shot like this was in the movie called My Way. I think it's a Korean film, but it was only there for like a slight second. It's of a dude that's 
like dying. It's just very rare that I see this shot in movies or YouTube videos or anywhere. But yeah, side note over. They finally pull up to the door and are ready to breach and clear. And this is where the errors come in. Initially, I was going to comment on how the way that he was holding the MP5 doesn't look right. Like it looks like he's holding a pistol here. But what I'm seeing now that I didn't see before is that he actually has his hand up on the left side. The scene is actually cut from when he actually gives the command to Alabama to open the door so that he could lob in a flashbang. So Judge kind of looks awkward when he's holding the MP5 because it looks like he's holding it like a pistol. So this isn't really an error on the devs part. It's more of an error on the uh, editors part because he chose not to show the uh, command part. Also, I want to mention that this was the part of the clip that was uh, shown to us as a promo in the Discord before the actual video dropped. Like I said before, Judge is holding an MP5A2 and Alabama is holding an M4A1. These are basically the standard character models that we've already talked about in previous videos, so I'm not going to go over every single detail. The next error in this video is when Alabama tries to reach for the doorknob here. He doesn't actually touch it, but the door still opens, so I'm assuming that he pushed the door? But it, I don't know, it kind of looked like he unlocked it, and I think there was actually a sound effect to that. Yeah, there was. Alright. But yeah, they proceed to lob in a flashbang which is known as the m84 stun grenade or again more commonly known as the flashbang then the scene switches over to the suspect with the hoodie that was sitting on the left we get a close-up of him and oh my god look at that mug now this guy doesn't know it but things are not about to go his way SWAT officers rush in to take down the disoriented suspects. You could definitely see the impact of that flashbang, with the black mark on the floor and all the money flying up in the air and all the mist. The interesting part of this clip is that, um, they actually say something right here. I'm not entirely sure what he says, like, I can only think maybe like, police freeze or SWAT freeze or freeze freeze. I don't know, I can't really tell what they're saying. I'm only guessing at this point. I turned up the audio, but it really didn't make a difference to me. I'm not actually sure who talks there, maybe it's the bad guys? But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, let's move on. The next clip goes on for like a split second, but it basically shows that Alabama is pushing forward into the room while Judge is pushing off to his left. One thing to note about Judge is that he pulls out a taser, I believe that is, or that or a pistol i can't really tell from this angle but there appears to be an error right here look at where his arms are and now look at where it was in the previous clip something's wrong here i can't seem to put my finger on it i think the reason why they did this change is because they wanted to make it seem like the weapon was concealed so that the next couple of scenes make sense because after this the guy with the ski mask tries to aim his gun in alabama there's some interesting negatives here of both the suspect and alabama and i have a theory about this but i don't know I think it might be a bit of a stretch. I'll talk about it a little bit later because it's interesting that this negative would be here. But for now, I'll just say that this is like a sixth sense. Like you feel something is going wrong. And then Alabama notices this, looks over, points his gun. The camera zooms into the ski mask. And now you can actually see that there's an African-American underneath the ski mask with green eyes. And he has some red around it, which I believe I've read somewhere that um, the guys that are holding up the gas station are on adrenaline of some kind. I think they said cocaine, but I don't remember. I remember reading that on the Alpha newsletter a little while back, but yeah. And then Alabama opens fire on him because he sees that the pistol is pointing at him. <laughs> And then the video is over. So now we get into some theories that I have because I thought that there were some things that were interesting. Number one, why are they still here? These guys that are in the beginning strike me as common petty criminals who would be the type of people to rob a gas station. But the thing that I find interesting is the fact that they're still here. Like, how come they haven't left yet? Think about it. They stayed long enough to let the SWAT show up and take them out. I mean, if it were me, I'd fucking get the cash register and get the fuck out. But no, they're sitting in this one room in the very background, shuffling around some documents and not even picking up the money that's around the bag like you think they'd be trying to scoop all that stuff in and just throw it in the bag but I don't think they're trying to do that I think they might have been hired for a job to come in here and take some documents for something bigger maybe I mean Void Interactive has said that each of these missions link to something bigger so I don't think it's out of the realm of possibility that my theory is that far off but let me know what you guys think down below number two the two negatives this next theory I feel is a bit of a stretch and I kind of don't want to talk about it because it involves politics but uh, you you go ahead and tell me if this is a stretch so void interactive has said that they are going to touch on subjects that a lot of people are going to dislike or have strong feelings towards and one of them that they're getting at here i think is very subtle for those of you that don't know here in the u.s african americans generally have a lot of problem with the police and this has been an issue that's been dating back for years i think it's mostly due to programs like stop and frisk profiling the drug war because these programs generally target 
target people of color or people that have lower incomes. Like I think I saw a study somewhere that black people and white people basically do drugs at the same time, but black people are more likely to get arrested. Like if these programs were to stop, then we would have a lot less people in jail. But okay, I'm getting off topic here. The point is, given the history that African Americans have with the police, the suspect is probably thinking, wait, why are you on their side? So it's kind of like the uh, whose side are you on scenario. And it's pretty freaking obvious that the SWAT guy is in the right here, by the way. Like if the suspect is pointing a weapon at him, obviously you have to retaliate. And SWAT doesn't fuck around, okay? The moment they see a gun, they'll just shoot you down. And these suspects already lost credibility when they killed that civilian at the very beginning. So again, the SWAT officer is in the right here for shooting at him. But yeah, what do you think of my assessment here? I generally don't like to talk politics on my channel. I try to keep it just to the games only, but I felt like this was something that was going on here. But then again, it, I, I think it's kind of a stretch. But I just wanted to speak my mind and hear what you guys thought. Moving on. Number three, related? So I was initially going to end the video here, but then I noticed something. When the camera zooms into the suspect at the end there, I just noticed that he has green eyes. And you know who else just so happens to be African American and have green eyes? Alabama. Maybe this is just a pure coincidence, but how often do you see black people with lighter color eyes? I mean, I'm sure they exist, but to have two people in the same area with the same eye color, is that just a coincidence or are these two related? Because if they're related, that would be an interesting concept to find out that one of your relatives was attached to one of these raids. I can't imagine the mental toll it would be on Alabama if you were to shoot to kill a family member. But what are your thoughts? Do you agree with my theories or do you have any theories of your own or just let me know what you think down below. So overall, I think that this promo is pretty cool, but the thing that I have to wonder about it is what exactly is this? Is it just a promo or is it a cinematic that's going to be featured in the single player, like a cutscene maybe, or what? I also noticed that there was a lot of errors in it and I hope that they actually fix it if they are going to include it in a cutscene, which again, I'm not entirely sure if that's the case. But yeah, overall a pretty cool promo and that's pretty much all I got to say about that. Quick shout out to Charles for giving me a free copy of Red Dead Redemption 2. Thank you, buddy. He said Merry Christmas as he gave me the most expensive one. Oh my goodness. Sometimes I have like the most generous subscribers, man. I swear. Thank you so much, Char. I love you. If you liked the video, be sure to like, share, and comment so that I can get past that algorithm. If you're new, be sure to subscribe and ding the bell and catch up on all of my latest uploads. If you're someone that really likes the channel and wants to support me, consider becoming a patron. Just send me two bucks a month. Trust me, it's really helpful. It'll definitely keep the channel going. I hope you're all having a very Merry Christmas and a Happy Holidays. And with that all being said, I want to thank everybody for coming out to watch and I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.